Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost is my kind of story. I really enjoyed this film. This was released originally in 1999, directed by Jim Strenstrom. And this is about, well, <laughs> believe it or not, a witch's ghost. They meet this um, horror novelist and they end up visiting Oak Haven, Massachusetts. And it seems like there's a mystery revolving uh, <laughs> is not a word, revolving around the ghost of the novelist's ancestor who was rumoured to be a witch. And there are several questions. First of all, is it her ghost? Was she a witch? What else is not being said that needs to be said? And I don't really want to say much more than that because I don't want to give away too much. The whole thing is, I think, just over an hour in length. It's not tremendously long, but I feel like it packed a lot into a short space of time. There were certainly elements where we thought mysteries had been resolved and then a spanner is thrown into the works and you know we're on a different trail or we're finding out different information. And I think it was a very, very well-written, well-developed narrative that definitely kept me hooked until the end. I hadn't predicted, well, any of it, really. I don't think any of it's too obvious, which is always really important with Scooby-Doo, because if you work out things really quickly, where's the fun? Uh, and I feel like that's always really appreciated when things are not that obvious. With regards to the character of the novelist, uh, I thought he was quite interesting. Ben Ravencroft is voiced by Tim Curry and we also have um, a band that plays music. The, the music was fine, it's not to my taste, but it, it gave it another layer and there are there is um, a relevance to the certain band members as well, so it's not like it's just padding or anything. And because I'm currently planning a trip to Massachusetts later this year and I'm going to Salem, which is obviously... Uh, very central for the witches. The timing for me was just perfect. It completely delivered everything that my brain is currently thinking about just now in a way that was fun, very well animated. I love how they animated the ghosts, it's the, the, or the apparitions, or the kind of, you know, the, the, the spooky aspects, if you like. Uh, I think they are very, very well done. So if, like me, you are interested in, in Massachusetts and the witches, um, definitely watch it. But even if that's not where your brain is currently at just now, I'd say still give it a watch. Presumably you're a fan of Scooby-Doo. I'd definitely say it's a pretty decent film, one that I enjoyed and one that I'm definitely happy to recommend.